Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be doing a speed test, testing the AT&T 3G service, and the reason why I'm actually outside uh, on a parking structure, no less, as you can see here, uh, is because they just recently put up some AT&T antennas with the uh, control box right over there, located behind me right so the reason why I'm here is that this is the best possible uh, area for reception you can't get any stronger than this because I'm standing right next to an antenna as we speak I'm probably uh, getting all kinds of radiation but hey I'm taking one for the team satisfy everyone's curiosity uh, as to how fast uh, AT&T 3G service is when standing at the closest possible point that you could possibly stand um, so hopefully uh, we get some uh, incredible speeds here. Well, not too incredible, but um, based on uh, what, what's advertised, right? So this is the best possible scenario for AT&T speed. Now, how I'm going to test that is uh, with my phone. It's my Android phone right here. And uh, there's a program, there's an app on here called Speed Test, right? So I'm going to run that and then... Um, I'm going to test the speed, but what I actually also want to do is that I want to tether into this phone because this has Android 2.2 and I can do uh, Wi-Fi tethering, meaning I set this as an access point and my laptop, the machine that I'm on right now, can actually um, pick up this uh, phone as a wireless device and connect to it and then surf the internet from uh, the 3G that uh, this phone provides or is getting reception from. Sorry about the noise, but there's construction going on. There's a whole freaking building right over there being built. Nothing I can do about that. All right, but uh, before that, I kind of want to show you the antenna. Um, just so you know that it is actually an AT&T. Uh, antenna or a 3G antenna and uh, just to see what the antenna looks like so we're gonna go over uh, hopefully nobody's getting motion sickness from watching this but that right there is the antenna hopefully you guys can see all that right and then there's another one right there two of them so yeah massive amounts of uh, antenna radio reception going on there so I'm gonna come back over here so I can set down the laptop and what I'm gonna do then is uh, connect my laptop to my phone using the mobile AP so hopefully I'll be able to show you that now what I got to do is I go into settings right here and then I gotta go to wireless and network then I go to mobile AP right and I've already set my settings up and I just gotta turn on mobile AP and it's giving me a warning saying that it's gonna drain your battery and this will drain your battery oh in which by the way even if you have this thing plugged on with mobile AP it drains your battery faster than it can charge so you know, you can have it plugged in, but it's still going to die after about three hours. That's about how long I've been able to get it to run. So I'll just say yes, I understand. So it's turning it on now. And now we're going to go to our uh, uh, wireless on the laptop here. I'm going to turn on the airport. And uh, my wireless access point is Johnny the Geek. So going to pop up here and here's Johnny the Geek. I've already got the password in there so I'll click on connect. Uh oh, invalid password. Okay, cool. So now my laptop is connected to my phone using mobile AP and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now fire up this uh, speed 
uh, internet networking site called uh, Speakeasy. So I'll just do a Google search for Speakeasy. And the speed test is typically the first result. Right, so this internet that you're seeing right here is coming off of my phone. And I'm going to click on Los Angeles, California. That's where I'm at. All right, so let's do a speed test. Now, on the phone itself, I get typically around uh, 3 megabits a second. Uh, just from the phone itself, not doing tethering. 3 megabits down and about... Uh, Oh, I want to say about 700k up, less than one megabit up. So I just did a uh, download test, and I got 3.9. I hit 3.9 megabits. Uh, this is off of 3G, and it's preparing the upload test. Upload doesn't look like it's going to be that strong, which is typical. It's not really meant for fast uploading speed. This is traffic going from my phone out into the internet. So it's uh, 0.10 megabits. Right? So that, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, speed test using AT&T 3G. Um, I think their advertised speed is something like around, for 3G, is about 3 megabits uh, maximum, theoretically. Um, and I think... Uh, AT&T is soon to roll out something called 4G, but it's not the same 4G that you see on Verizon. It's uh, uh, it's more like um, something called HSPA, uh, which is what 3G is. 3G is HSPA, but this uh, 4G that uh, AT&T is selling is um, is actually HSPA plus, right? So it's like 3G plus, uh, but you do get five uh, five megabit download speeds in between five and seven. Later on this year, AT&T is supposed to uh, release uh, a, a 4G LTE long-term evolution, uh, which is like Verizon's 4G, and that's supposed to be uh, a lot faster. I don't remember off the top of my head what the speeds are, but um, it's going to be at least twice uh, the 5 to 7 megabits, something like around 20 to 25 megabits, uh, which is a typical of what you would get um, at your house uh, internet. All right? So, uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes the speed test. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Peace.